Hello guys, it's your girl again, Mrs. Uh, Doreen Daniel. I am here again on the topic we um, we discussed earlier this week. If you are new here, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is based on relationship, marriage, and relationship, courtship, and marriage. And if you've been here already, you're also welcome. Thank you for always being there, for following up, for your comments. For your subscription, I want to say a big thank you for being my fan. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification button to get notified anytime I upload new video. And you can still get more information from my YouTube, uh, Facebook page, Doreen D. Marita page. Anything about marriage, relationship, courtship. You can ask me a question about it with the content info I will drop below. So now let's get down to why we are here. Previously, we discussed about uh, how to build a good relationship, part one, which we talk about, which I said relationship, growing relationship is like growing a weed or a flower. Which I said definitely we will get the latest version of that topic. Now today we are discussing on how to build a good relationship part two. If you've not watched part one, you miss. So you have to go back, watch the part one so that you will not be at the lost side and come back to watch the part two. It's very, very interesting. This, even when you are married, you need this. You are in a relationship. If your relationship is crashing, you need it. You need this to to raise it up. Let me tell you, relationship is not meant to crash. As far as you are a strong woman, you have all it takes to build your relationship. It's just for you to take the keyword and follow up. That is all you need. Now, previously we we list some things, some things we need to build a good uh, relationship, which I have some question here with me from my mail. But before I go through the question, firstly, well, first of all, continue listing all the things that we need to build a good uh, relationship. So now, the uh, number, six of it is this. To build a good relationship, Hold on, let me get the email open first before I will continue so that we won't be distracted in time uh, in time to come. Now, where is the mail? Here we are. Mm -hmm. Now, to continue from where we stop, after we mentioned about patience and other, other factors that you need to apply to your relationship to make it a very good and peaceful relationship. Now, another thing we have to talk about is being the strength of the relationship. See, when I say being the strength, I did not say you should turn to Jackie. No. You don't need to sweat to build a relationship. No. You just There are just few things you need to build a relationship. Another may just come in now and... With time, we will answer them all. Then another factor is love. This is a very important thing in the relationship. When you are in a relationship, it's very, very important you grow love. Develop these feelings. Because relationship without love is no relationship, it's friendship. You can't tell me that you have a intimacy with somebody and you don't love the person. What? Are you telling me that? You can't say that. Before a relationship will take us to get into intimacy aspect, there is this thing we need to build. Love. We have to build it. Develop it. Make it real. Make it look real. Make it real. Because without love... You said you are trying to build relationship. That means you are not building it. You are playing. Relationship without love is tasteless. And another thing is being yourself. This thing, this one is very important. Not just in a relationship, in everything. Being yourself is very, very important. In all you are doing. 
your place of work be yourself don't go be like another person so being yourself is very important in a relationship and another thing we should talk about is being the best version of you you have to bring out the best version of you in a relationship so that it will work my darling the best version of you is important in a relationship so that you will be the very beautiful relationship that will be like butterfly you see even credible is say something like a butterfly you are my butterfly so for you to be the butterfly of that bobo eh you have to be the be always be in the best version of you not today you are um monkey tomorrow you're you are goat next tomorrow if if you are erica always be erica if you are ngozi please always be ngozi if you are selling just be selling always be in the best version of you instead of you to go and be another person increase your own version build yourself to the top standard be the celebrity of that relationship i don't know if you understand then another thing we should be talking about is allowing yourselves to miss each other you see in relationship develop this out of i can't stay without her i can't stay without him where is he for four hours i've not seen him more. i'm missing him for four hours i've not seen her I'm missing her. Always develop this feeling of missing each other because these things help relationship grow. It help relationship look beautiful. It help relationship sweet and it help relationship get us closer to our goal. Do you understand? Now, the other thing is being an individual. Don't be a commoner in a relationship. Don't be a toy in a relationship. Be an individual. Try to possess a vital part. Meaning, be that as in try. If two partners try to, like, my decision is good, this one is good, always try to be somebody in a relationship. Don't look yourself as... As in, who knows if I'm important to him? Who knows if I'm important to her? Eh? Who say you are not important to him? Let me tell you one thing. You see relationship. The way you present yourself in a relationship is exactly how your partner will take you in a relationship. If you get serious, believe me, your partner will get serious in that relationship. Now I go to the question. One said, how will I build freedom and friendship in a relationship? My sister, very simple, like this. It's something you can do without even asking me. Without even letting me to explain it, you would have known where we are going to. This question comes from a client of mine. Don't bother yourself, ask me, because my clients remain my private business. Do you understand? Now, I tell the person that I will answer it in public. And another question is, when I'm working, I am busy. How will I give time when I am always working? Eh? Let's get there. First of all, you say, how will I have freedom and friendship in a relationship? First, and that is number one factor we will list in part one. In case if you know if you've not watched part one, you will get a bit confused. So please watch part one and come back to watch part two so that you will understand it perfectly. Now, having faith, freedom, and friendship in a relationship is one of the good or important virtues on how to build a relation, a good relationship. I tell you this now we'll keep the phone outside why i will answer the questions one after the 
order. So my darling, we will now explain how to have faith, build faith, freedom and friendship in a relationship. You need to have faith in your relationship. Having faith is just like a bit trust. I didn't say 100% trust, but having faith is like trust in your relationship. Constant nagging or a skeptical attitude may ruin your relationship. What I mean is every time you nag over things that is not important, you will nag. Even what does not work nagging, you will nag. That is gonna it's gonna drive away your partner. See, let me tell you, no but no partner wants a relationship that every day quarrel, quarrel, no. You can't tell me that as, as much as I am, I should be in a relationship that will be quarreling today, quarrel. No, morning quarrel, afternoon quarrel, evening quarrel. Hell no. You can't nag over everything. I did not say she not nags more. <laughs> Let me say my own, you understand? Because even me, I, I nag, but not everything you nag about. When you nag small, it is no longer nagging. Rather, it is called caring. I don't know if you understand. When you nag little, it is not nagging. It is called caring. But when you nag too much, that is what I call nagging. And nagging is what we call your attitude now become skeptical. Skeptical. There is no way, no ball, no... A man cannot put up with that attitude. Neither will a woman tolerate it. Because that, that lady that will be in that relationship that you will not follow 247 will have... The, the, that lady will not have rest of mind. Which may lead to heart attack. High blood pressure. Anytime she sees you, she will shock. And talk about the man. You will not follow man 247. Any little thing the man do, you will not follow. Eh? And you think you are building the relationship. My, my sister, you are not building it. You are destroying that relationship. Because that man is going to hell run from you. So, if you nag too much in a relationship, you have to reduce it. Don't nag when it is not necessary. Nag when it is ne it's necessary. Make your nagging turn to caring. Don't make your nagging turn to quarry. So you see, the you're in a, in a relationship, we balance everything we do. You need to have freedom of speech. That is why we mentioned freedom there. In a relationship, freedom of speech is very, very vital. It's very important. Don't be afraid of your partner because being afraid is not respect. There is a difference between I respect my partner and I am afraid of my partner. A partner that you are afraid of, you cannot marry because that means you will end up in prison instead of marriage. People enjoy marriage, not endure. Do you understand? <laughs> you see, if I, I don't want to get too serious because if I get too serious, you would think I am like angry. So let's put up a little smile while it lasts. So my dear, don't be afraid of your partner. Rather, respect your partner. So, have this freedom of speech. Don't, don't say, I, 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 I can't talk to my boyfriend. Or, or I can't talk to my... You, what is it? Is that a relationship? A relationship that you will be, you can't talk to your boyfriend. Or you can't talk to your girlfriend. In issues that matter. All because you don't want him or her to get angry. And you still call it a relationship. So my dear, build respect, not fear in a relationship. That is what we call freedom. And have this freedom of speech. Always learn how to talk to your man and say what is in your mind. But mind you. It's not all the useless words that come up from your mouth that you've not paced that you will vomit. Always bring out those words that come out from your mouth when you've paced. And 
it is also good in in a relationship or in building a relationship it's good to have freedom to make our own choice freedom to follow our heart desire you see you say this very one our heart desire matters a lot in our relationship always follow your heart desire don't go and follow Mr. Paul because you hear that Sister Jeanette is following Mr. Peter and Mr. Peter and Mr. Paul has the same kind of appearance. If you know that the kind of man you dream about is this type that is God-fearing, Biko, go to that type. If you know that the kind of man you dream about is the type that flows in money go to that type but i tell you one thing the best man anyone can ever be with is that god-fearing gentleman so always learn how to follow your hearts don't follow what people do to do. Don't go after how people build their relationship to build your own relationship because you will end up as an it would it will crash at the end. While you are enjoying the relationship with a bondage of friendship, being in a relationship means a balance between the freedom and bondage. Do you understand? Now, let's talk about this. You say a, a, a bondage of friendship. When you talk about bondage of friendship, I am not talking about being in bondage. No. When I mean bond, I mean bond, 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 of, bond, of, bond of friendship. You have to build this friendship between you and your partner. As I am, I'm telling you, my husband is my best friend. Oh, yes. I like it like that. I love it like that. So, when I talk about friendship, I did not say you should go and bring friends outside to intrude in your relationship. No. It means make your partner build a friendship between you and your partner. You both can talk as a lover and as a friend. You both can do things as a lover and as a friend. So, do you understand when I said friendship? is needed in a relationship so when you apply this few step we've mentioned i believe you will understand why relationship is needed to build in a very sequential manner uh-huh my sister we are here again my brother when when we say I, I i read the mail and i said how will i give time when i am working when i don't have time when what are you saying is that even a question are you working two four seven of course no nobody work two four seven except god because even when you are asleep god is there watching over you so it's only god that work two four seven so my sister you can't you are working uh, 247 therefore you will not have time to give to to give in your relationship if your partner did that to you will you like it even the bible say do to others what you would like them to do to you eh this is the saying go that thing you know that if they do it to you you don't like it please don't do it to another don't say because you are working as an excuse, therefore you don't have time. You see, time is another vital uh, part of relationship. Giving and getting time is very, very important. When you are working, at least there is off day. You are not working from 6 in the morning to 12 midnight. No. And if uh, no matter how your schedule is in, at work, you must schedule time to be with your lover. You must schedule time for your relationship. Do you understand? Working is not a bad idea. Be it male or female. Schedule, make sure that you get, you provide, you create that time to be with your partner. A woman needs time to un and understanding in a relationship. 
why a man on the other hand needs time to be with you most men would like to be with their partner going to playing game together doing some little playful things together those are the memory that make that keeps a relationship going the time two lovers spend together the time two partners spend together those good time those good time you spend together are the memory that keep relationship going so please my sister no matter how the work is now i'm directing this to my to the person that emailed me asking me about time now no matter how tight how uh, 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 i don't know how busy you are always create time for your partner do you understand because if you don't create time for your partner if you don't have time for your partner don't you know that you are driving down your partner to go and cheat do you think that your partner will fold hands together all because you are working you don't have time first week second week months year you are busy and you think he will not cheat my sister, I am here to tell you the truth, not to make your head blow. If you don't create time for your relationship, sorry, the your partner may it, it might cheat. The probability of that your partner cheating is very high. So my dear, don't tell me that because you are working or there is something you are doing that is taking your time, then you cannot dedicate little time to relationship. Uh, that means, uh, let me not just talk about God because that means you will not even have time to worship God because you are working. So my dear, in life, the little time we have, we balance it to the things that are important to us. So my dear, if you are living a triangular life, schedule your time on how to meet up that triangular life. So, don't take don't in short in a relationship reason you don't have to give 100 plus one reason why you don't have time to spend with your partner you don't have time to you to give into the relationship my sister if you don't have time to give in biko don't ask time don't ask for time because you cannot get what you can't give if you can't give time what makes you think that your partner may give you time of course, you just make him to carry his time to give to another. So, uh, with time factor, just as I said, this in short, today we'll stay longer than expected. But with time, we will continue explaining the other factors, the other things you need to apply to your relationship to make it look beautiful. So, my dear, always check back to get more information. If you are really interested on this, in this video, Biko, please dodo don't forget to drop your comment if you have any question visit me at dorinsera.0.014 at gmail.com drop any him any any message any any question there and you'll get it or just you don't need stress just go to comment section drop your question and you'll get your answer within 24 hours you can still visit my facebook page at Doreen D. Marita page. And please don't forget to share with your friends on Facebook. Ask you, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. I don't understand. Subscribe, tell a friend to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. So please, please, I am begging you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting video on this topic, on this few topic of mine, relationship, courtship, and marriage. These three things are things we cannot do without. So please subscribe and click on the notification button so that whenever I upload new video, you can be notified. Unless I forgot, I am making a giveaway next week. So don't forget to be there. Hmm? Don't forget to visit my YouTube, my Facebook page, like, follow up, and my Instagram page, like, follow up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification button. Always leave your comments. How you feel? This this channel is a discussion channel. How you feel about what I said? 
comment it and I will respond to you in, in less than 24 hours. So please subscribe, like my video and leave your comment and click on the notification button. And we, I will see you in the next part of this topic. Thank you very much for being there and may God bless you as you subscribe and as you keep watching.